Hi everybody, I'm Jeff with Virginia Paranormal Investigations. Now tonight we decided to do something a little bit different. We're going to bring you a night in the light of life of a ghost hunter on a larger scale. And what we're going to do is kind of document our trip here. Uh, we're on a trip, we're on a venture. We got a case at a residential um, private residence up in Lebanon, Pennsylvania. And we're venturing off into the night. It's Friday night. The investigation is actually tomorrow night. But uh, we figured we'd show you a little bit of clips from the trip along the way. So stay tuned for perhaps an interesting time. Maybe not. So our first stop here along Route 13 North is at Royal Farms, somewhere in Virginia, uh, on the Eastern Shore. Right. And I gotta say, I like the Royal Farms coffee. Yes. Wouldn't you say? Absolutely. Um, it's always very hot when it comes out of the carafe. I yes. guess it is. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, they always have like a, a good variety of the of the creamers to put on. Yeah, the, the vanilla right caramel creamer is actually yeah. pretty good, and I think we both yeah. got that. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the gourmet blend, gourmet, <laughs> which is, I believe, fairly light. Right. Yes. Because I heard the lighter the blend, the more the caffeine. Right. Absolutely. So yeah. I want some caffeine because we're yeah we uh, we've got quite a drive ahead of us here. Yeah. All right. So back on the road. Here we go. could see from the last video it's still raining pretty good out there you could barely see the welcome to Maryland sign but nonetheless here we are in Maryland at a goose Creek now one cool thing that they have here at goose Creek is pretzels dipped in Hershey's white cream chocolate that yeah. sounds pretty amazing does it not it does I'm not exactly sure what makes it white cream as opposed to just white chocolate mm -hmm. but I'd love to find out I would too so one thing cool about the Goose Creek here is they have a 24 hour subway, subway. so nothing like a sub at 12 30 in the morning yeah <laughs> and I got the Saturday meal deal because right. it's technically Saturday. Now you got an interesting drink there. I do, yes. And you can look at it here. Pennsylvania Dutch birch beer. Ooh. Look at that. Bam. Straight out of Pennsylvania. Yep. And Where I'm we're like headed to tomorrow yes. or today, exactly. tonight, whatever it is. Yeah. I don't know. But you won't find that probably down Virginia way. No. So no, you're not gonna find that down there. Unique drink. And you got some hers. I do. These are kettle cooked ranch flavored lattice cut fries. Lattice cut, it's like waffle Check fries, only uh, in a chip form. Right, it's exactly. Different. Yeah. Nice flavor. And I got some yeah. sun chips because they didn't have hers in Subway. And they have a uh, garden salsa, so I'm going to sample these things here and see what they taste like. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> oh, <boy>. <laughs> <laughs> we have a plethora of coffee here at Wawa. What are you thinking? I'm thinking maybe just either the regular or the 100% Colombia. Ah. Um, because again, you know, a milder roast or a medium roast, a little more caffeine. That's true, that is true. Yeah. So perhaps a mild roast. There you can just see the smoke coming out of that. I decided to go with the 100% sweet and smoky Guatemalan. Look at these huts here. 
had some cheeseburger and grilled cheese, grilled hot dogs, hot dogs and sweet corn. Sweet corn? Yep. That looks slightly amazing, doesn't it? Does. Not? Especially the sweet corn. That yes. sounds pretty cool. So as you may have guessed, our first stop in Delaware is Wawa. And uh, I did get that sweet, smoky Guatemalan, I believe Linda yes, did too. Absolutely. And what are your thoughts on it? Um, it's pretty good. It's hard to tell the flavor of the coffee itself because I did put um, some van French vanilla creamer inside there. But um, I, I like it. Mm -hmm. It's hot. It's, it's good. It tastes now, fresh. Now I got it black. Um, and I got to say, it's got a decent flavor to it. Yes. But I like the more bold coffees right. and it, it's not a more bold coffee like I I would prefer yeah but good flavor nonetheless and it was definitely smoky when I was pouring it the smoke was just yeah. coming off of it I think that's steam steam <laughs> now we found something paranormal here it's this bug or perhaps an alien what is that thing I don't know what that is is it a mosquito it looks like a mix between a mosquito and a moth yeah, very ugly. But uh, it's rather large. Just perched there on the wall. Um, enjoying our coffee with us. Traveling down Route 13, or up Route 13, mm -hmm. in the wee hours of the morning, we came upon a rest stop here in Smyrna, Delaware, which is the Blue Star Memorial Highway rest stop. Right. And uh, it's a pretty extra extravagant rest stop. Yes. They got a Mac machine right here, and they got a gift shop right ahead of us. And we're gonna go check out the bathrooms and mm -hmm. see what the status of them is. I'm hoping, because I noticed behind me here, there's porta potties. And I'm hoping that's not the bathroom yeah, uh, not. for the rest stop. I'm hoping they have like an indoor one. So we're going to take a look around here and, and find out. And that sign looks promising. So I got to say the bathrooms are really nice. Warm. Yes. Big, warm. clean. Mm -hmm. Highly recommend them. If you need a good bathroom, this is a good bathroom Absolutely. to stop in. So definitely stop here. Mm -hmm. So it's Saturday and uh, we got in pretty late last night, about four in the morning, got some sleep and now we're heading up to Lebanon, Pennsylvania from Wilmington, Delaware. And the location that we're investigating tonight is supposed to be pretty active. We're gonna stop at a local establishment on the way up there to meet with the rest of the team. And uh, at a place like this, you never really know what to expect. You're kinda going in blind. It's a place you've never been to before. Um, you don't know What's going to hit you as soon as you walk in the door? Is the food going to smell good? Um, is it going to taste good? <laughs> they got some good stars on Yelp. I can't think of the name of the place off the top of my head right now. But um, it's Men always interesting. What is it? Menino's. Menino's. So if we can get into Menino's tonight, that's where we're going to be eating dinner. And it's, it's always exciting to go to a new place, to experience something new for the first time. Like I said, not knowing what to expect and... and uh, what the food's gonna taste like. So I'm really looking forward to to trying this out. But uh, right now we got about a two hour drive up to Lebanon, Pennsylvania. And if we stop anywhere along the way, we'll let you know. Yes, one cool thing about this pizza place is they have a plethora of hers potato chips. Quite a selection. Though no ketchup flavor. 
Go ahead. You're watching. I tell you one thing. I just noticed that I'm watching them, and they're making everything fresh. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of the things that I see coming out look really, really good. Even the salads, which, you know, I mean, I like a salad, but, you know, the, like the Greek salad. Yeah, yeah. And that looked really good. It all looks good. Yeah. And they just made, they made, they made a couple burgers, and instead of just pulling out two buns from, like, a bun bag, they just cut two fresh rolls. Right nice. Now. Very good. I can't wait. I'm excited. I know. So one thing I've noticed is they have all of this up here with the oregano and the garlic. And as I said before, this is a sign of a good pizza place. These people clearly know what they're doing when they put something like this out. So look at this, look at this food that came out here. We got the stuffed buffalo chicken burgers. And that's, uh, that looks slightly amazing, does it not? What do you got there on that plate? Just a regular burger. With bacon, though. Oh, yeah. And it's crispy bacon. That's what Wait, I'm talking about. Yeah. Look at this bread. Look at that bread. That's like two loaves. It's huge. It's it is. It's bigger than my... It's bigger than your head, almost. <laughs> it is. Look. Long ways. Long ways. <laughs> It goes right. out past yeah. my ear. Don't print the lay of the bread. <laughs> <laughs> so one thing I do have to add is that this food here is very reasonably priced. We paid like 13 bucks for these combos. For like total, not right. a piece, but total, like six something yeah. a piece for this giant burger, onion rings, and a drink. Yeah, right. impressive. Why is it more slippery? Very impressive. Did you see the bread? Yeah. Look at that bread. Let's take a closer look at that stuffed burger that you got right there. You sampled the fries. How are they? Jalapeno poppers. They're pretty good. Hey, thank you. Oh man, it's like jalapeno poppers too coming up here. Look at that. Where are they going? To me. <laughs> Yeah, they actually the fries are extremely good. Um, they needed a little bit of salt and pepper, I think, just you know, to flavor them up a little bit. But I'm really, what I'm really excited about is this. Let me see if I can pick up. This is homemade. Oh yeah, see, look at that. It's got like the little thin burger patties, and then it's got like the chicken and the buffalo stuff in between. It's stuffed in there, and I can it actually is. see on the side there where the burger comes up around the side, so it's actually right. stuffed inside the yeah, burger. Yeah, yeah. Um, One big patty stuffed with buffalo chicken. Exactly, like Jeff said, it's like a work of pure genius. Yes, so you know? go ahead and give that a sample okay. there. And uh... You don't need to sample my salad. Where'd you guys get over here no. salad? Can I get a napkin, please? And jalapeno poppers. Oh, Just yeah. But I have not tried those yet, but I'm Man, excited. that looks good. Super excited. What else? Anybody else ooh, sample anything ooh, besides the salad wait, over here? Well, then welcome to try the salad. <laughs> Not yet. No, I'm only going to try the salad. Well, I have to say this is really good. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. The burger, the meat is good. You can taste all of the, like, um, the buffalo in there. But then it's got, like, I guess it's just ranch that's on there. Um, but extremely good. Nice soft bread, too. I like that. So, um... I gotta say, I'm very eager to try this stuffed buffalo burger here. Look at this thing. I mean, it just looks amazing. I'm gonna take a little bite, kind of get a feel for it, get the taste of it here. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. You do know the Heimlich maneuver, right? <laughs> what is yeah. this thing here? Uh, eggplant parmesan. Oh man, that's some good stuff. Yeah. I bet it tastes good too, probably. You think? <laughs> probably. <laughs> Don't offer me burger. burger. No, I know. I'm just impressed I by the I portions. I mean, look at the size of that thing. Mm -hmm. That thing is for ten bucks. I know, for ten bucks. Really? Yeah, nine forty. Uh, no, actually, Olive Garden that would have been $24.95. Actually, it was eight fifty. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is like Olive Garden quality at McDonald's prices. <laughs> I know. It is. So we definitely have a confusing sign. We're not sure how to get out of this place. And uh, which way do we go? So on our way to Sheets, we found a turkey hill.
Yeah. Which is a little bit closer, so we're going to stop in here and perhaps get some Turkey Hill coffee. Right. Which right. Check it out. Be an interesting experience. Yes. Absolutely. Looks like we have a plethora of coffee back here. Dark roast, Colombian roast, breakfast blend. Right, and I really like the cups because they're not just paper. They're kind of a little bit of a styrofoamy thing, which may not be great for the environment, but I like it because yes. it's going to keep my coffee it's warm. It's good for our environment. Right, yes. Right. And over here, look at this. Mountain Dew Freezies. Frozen red cherry. Cool stuff. So this is pretty nice. It's my favorite color, red, and it's also camouflage at the oh, same cool. time. And it's got the turkey hill emblem, so that's pretty cool. Cool. Stephanie, you found a blue one over there? Yes. Yeah. Why don't you hold up the blue one? Model that for us. Man, that's, that's almost the API purple, but it's I know, blue. right? That almost could match. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, we got a pretty good match there. It would comment. I just okay. saw vanilla though. So. Vanilla recommendation oh, over here. I went with the new breakfast blend. The oh, lighter the roast, blend. the more the caffeine. Oh, you Screw coffee. Some you investigating just there. You just blew my mind. mind. I know. <laughs> like we were always drinking the dark roast because we like the darker coffee. But then it actually is. The lighter the roast, the more caffeine it has in it. So we've started going back toward it. Coffee 101 right here at I'm Turkey blown Hill. right now. I know. Thank you for it's giving crazy. me that now. Either way. Some interesting stuff that we just heard of in the Turkey Hill. What was that story? Well, she said that there was um, six people who um, were robbers back in the 1800s, and they went around killing people for their insurance money. Older people. Who Older people. Elderly insurance fraud. Yes, yes. So the uh, blue -eyed six they call them they the blue-eyed six, yeah. right. And um, evidently they were hanged right here in Lebanon. And they are buried up in some moonshine church, which is a cool name for a church. I really like that. Yeah. But um, we <laughs> might have to see if we can um, we can check out this church because supposedly, if you go around midnight, you can look up at the church and uh, like a full moon, and you can see the blue eyes glowing inside the church windows. So interesting stuff. The things you learn at Turkey Hill. The right. Blue eyed six, and lighter coffee, the more caffeine. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Really. Yeah, I just learned that. Interesting. I know. Huh. Huh. Who knew? Yeah. All right, so here we are at the location here, exploring this creepy. Yeah. This Let creepy me just say, attic. I went first up into the creepy attic. Um, it, it's empty up here. There's really not a whole lot. I don't feel as weirded out as I did downstairs in that master bedroom. So. Um, but uh, there's been a lot of reports about what's happened here in this attic. So we're going to look around a little bit. Supposedly one of these beams up here has marks from when um, somebody had hung themselves up, in, up here in the attic. I don't know if it's on this side of the duplex because it has been divided or if it's on the other side. But we're going to have to check that out, see if we can find some rope marks. And, uh, and that would yeah. be kind of cool because I'm kind of into forensics and stuff. Yes. Me too. I majored in that in college. Maybe I'll get oh, something. Did you? In. Yeah, I did. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely. It looked a lot Ooh, oh, worse from the stairs because the stairs. I mean, and the wall over oh, here is so original nineteen nineteen oh, wow. brick, perhaps. And shale. Is that what that stuff's called? Yeah. yeah. We're shale? up here in the attic, Kyle. It is pretty late. Yeah. 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 Okay. That's pretty cool. Interesting. I don't really see Previous a lot. There's only one spot. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it would make a nice bedroom, wouldn't it? I yeah. think so. I think so. Yeah. So an interesting thing when we got here, we went into the wrong house. We went to the wrong address. And uh, the people, they let us in. They didn't ask any questions, they just let us in. And uh, we realized after talking to them that we we're at the wrong place, right? And that was quite a that was quite a thing when you show up at the wrong, oh, door, door's moving, what is that moving? Oh, it's not. Oh, it's the cellar doors. Yeah, I was screaming up the first until I thought about what she said. Yeah, about there being a cellar door access. Yeah, I got it all. This is actually one of the nicer basements I've been in. 
does this go all the way back to the neighbor's house? Uh, Do they share this? No. It would be this way. I don't know. I'm not oh, yeah. Old. It would be this way. That has to be outside. Oh, okay. I was going to say, yeah, because that, that looks like a good. I see, I see light out there, so. She said over behind the furnace there was an old fireplace that's yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah, old fireplace sitting here. Yeah, right there. Right there. Yeah. yeah. Is that where the uh, portal's supposed to be? Yeah. What's supposed to be there? The portal. portal. There like, is supposed to be there? a portal in the basement. Yeah. Does that just look like it's solid? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it's Watch solid on the bottom. Yeah. And there's quite a right there. Oh, jeez. Are you getting, well, you're going to get high EMFs yeah, because of that. Because That's of the, of the air handling unit. So yeah. you're going to get high EMFs because of the air handler. So it's going to be kind of hard to tell if there's any well, EMFs actually, that are um, high whoa, associated whoa, whoa, whoa. with the fireplace. Look. Orange. Well, the funny thing is, Linda, here's the thing. Watch out. <laughs> yeah, watch out. <laughs> the funny thing is, is it spiked to red at first. Yeah, I saw a spike just a second. Yeah, but now that I put it near, it's only going up to orange. That's weird. You would think near would go higher. Well, the, what about these wires up here, though? Yeah, you've got a junction box above your head. You've got a couple on the yeah, wall the, there. See, those aren't yeah. going to go up either. That's, I mean, a little bit, yeah. but not as much. Yeah. That's strange. So we are up in the attic of the uh, primary client's home, the one that had contacted us, and we are going to start our investigation for the home here. And we've got uh, two ERS Paratech apps open at the same time on two different devices. We're interested in seeing tonight if uh, the same word comes up on both devices at the same time or close to the same time. Ooh. We also are going to run a matter box. Yes, matter. We're going to run a spirit box at the same time and see what we can get out of that. And we are tape. recording everything with a digital voice recorder as well. Tape. 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 And I got tape. matter. Tape. Important. Tape. Important tape. Important. Tape's important. And it matters. <laughs> and it matters. <laughs> and then we're also monitoring the temperature over here. Uh, we're at 73 degrees. Yes. And it's been holding there pretty good. This one Just says get out, and yeah, right when this popped up with get out, what did you get down there? It said quit, and mine changed to feel. But it, yours said get out, and then mine said quit. Quit That's feel. interesting. And then look, Africa came up twice on this, which kind of concerns me because yeah, we got Africa. We got Africa down there on Valley Road, we did. and now I'm wondering if it's part of the word bank. Well, I'm sure it probably is part of the word bank, but you know, it's odd that it would have come up twice. Just tonight. Well, that is part that of that the railroad. So. I think it was. Who knows? Not the. So, um, we think that it breeds with people in here. Um, <laughs> but we're not sure because Megan is attempting to be bred. <laughs> <laughs> no, it ain't happened yet. I'm ready. But we're I'm, waiting. I'm ready to take we're, it. We're going to be patient with it and see if it actually happens. <laughs> how long it takes. Yeah, see how long it takes. Yeah, exactly. Because these but, are my um, friends and they're an audience. So <laughs> but we do have a closet over here. <laughs> That's true. And this closet is rumored to be a portal, in addition to having a portal downstairs uh, in the basement. So we think something perhaps could come in and out of here. Now, when we first walked into this room originally, we had some really strange feelings Absolutely. in this room. So, you know, it didn't feel like the rest of the house, but right. we're kind of trying to wait and see what happens here. What? I don't know. I thought I just saw something, but um, we're, you know, so far really hasn't, hasn't, nothing has occurred except for having the EMF detector keeps kind of going off. I don't know. It's, it's being a little bit weird. We are getting some activity on the EMF detector. And uh, one interesting thing. Let's the well, one interesting thing, and we don't know for sure, but when we initially came in here, we were told that the closet door was left closed, mm -hmm. and when we came in here, it was wide open. Right. But uh, since we've had the camera on it, over here, we have a surveillance camera 
on the closet door, and uh, it has not opened since that camera's been in place. Okay, so this is interesting. We got the word "idiot" coming through on the terror tag app here, and then it says "you need two words." And uh, we're not 100% confident that the Paratech app is actually communicating with the supernatural being, but nonetheless, we continue to experiment. We need to hear you. Can you bang on this closet door for us? Can you knock on it? That's not, we're not getting much. Uh, what happened? I was, uh, we're just sitting here and it, it sounded like something kind of like, snap, like something snapping or like, mm. hit it like a tip, like, um, sounded like it maybe came from out in the hallway. Oh, out in the hallway, okay. Oh, that's that door Is that you? Okay, so we stepped outside to get some cool air because it's, it's very hot inside the house mm -hmm. there. And uh, any interesting things that you want to note so far that have happened? Well, it was very interesting that um, Kyle had witnessed, along with Stephanie, had witnessed the uh, refrigerator door opening, mm -hmm. which is one of the videos that the client had sent to us and said had, that that happened all the time. Um, now, I didn't witness it, but um, we were able to determine that there was really no way that the customer could have opened that refrigerator door. Right. Now, um, mm -hmm. you know, besides that, I mean, there really wasn't a whole lot going on. Um, you know, I commanded it in the name of Jesus to reveal itself, and nothing happened. Right, so, and if it was a demon, it should have done that. Yes, and it should have revealed Word itself. on the street is they, they believed that it was a demon. Now, we haven't right. seen the evidence of that yes. yet. But the refrigerator door was interesting because when she had called Kyle up to look at it, she was back by the basement door and it opened slow and we right. couldn't get it to open that slow on its own. Exactly. Yes. So that was an interesting thing, definitely. Yeah. But uh, we're going to go in and hit a couple more spots yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, see what happens, see if we can pick up any mm -hmm. activity. So what happened up there, a little bit of noise and now these two are coming down, we'll find out. What they have to say about what happened. It, I mean, it sounded like somebody was coming through my walls. What was the banging, though? What's up there? there was banging? Yeah, yeah did you hear any banging? banging? We didn't hear any banging. You didn't hear no banging? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You didn't hear banging? No. Oh. Unless it was the part where Mia was standing up. And, like... Nah, you ain't doing that. It sounded like somebody was up there stomping. You ain't yeah, Mia stomp. was up there stomping. Were you stomping around up there? Might be. Or the, the oh, footsteps, footsteps that you felt under your feet. Oh, it yeah. wasn't actually footsteps. What was it? It was the stuffed buffalo chicken burger. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. So we are downstairs. We are in the kitchen right now. And we're going to run an EVP session. Next and uh, yeah. see Next what we can see what we can pick up. And this is the refrigerator that had opened earlier. That's not something you see every day. No. So can you tell us your name? Who was it that opened up the refrigerator door? Why do you remain in this house? Two-syllable word. Sounded where did like that come female. from? Yeah, yeah. Or something. I don't know where that came from. Can you say it again? Is there a reason why you're here? Okay. So earlier we were discussing what happened with the refrigerator, and Jeff and I probably sat in here for 10-15 minutes trying to manipulate the refrigerator to see how in, in the world it was possible for this to actually open by itself. Because the magnet itself is, you know, it's, it's very strong. Well, it just happens that the angle that I'm sitting at, we're in the kitchen doing an EVP session, and I was just playing with it, barely opening it, but still holding it kind of close to the magnet. And it was more 
than that, but as soon as it's pretty close, see it takes a minute, but I think we got it figured out. of orbs floating around the home. Um, we haven't currently found any just yet. Um, really excited to see if we can find some. Um, I'm not sure if we will, uh, but it would be really cool if we did. Uh, we may have found some when we first got here and set up cameras, but eh. That one picture was interesting with the mist. Yeah, it looks like smoke, kind of. Kind of. Yeah, so we made yeah. sure we asked if the client smoked in the home, and she said no. So we're back down here in the basement, <laughs> and uh, we can blinding. Add it right light. <laughs> we concluded our EVP session up in the living room. We did. Spirit box session. We did. And I uh, have to say it was kind of interesting. There were some um, expletives, let's just say, that came through on the spirit box pretty clearly. And um, it was like, F you, F this, you know. Yeah. So, and, and we know that that's not something that comes through on the radio because the FCC doesn't allow it. So, um, who knows? We were asking information that it didn't seem to want to reveal. And um, I don't know. It was just an interesting thing so we'll see what we get down here in the basement yeah so we're down here in the basement ready to kick off a spirit box session no I don't I already have this thing going <laughs> it's interesting because it says Lucas and Lucas is the name that I believe we picked up at another location That's right. and this thing seems to be doing a lot of that um, just spitting out random words that may be in a word bank right Right, it is. It does seem to be spitting out the random words, and and these are all words that we've seen before. Uh, Chloe, um, and it seems to have a fairly limited word bank, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Um, and Chloe you know, came very, up in the living room too. Right, right. Not a very extensive, yeah. you know, um, vocabulary for this thing. So, well, maybe some second thoughts about the uh, Paratech app. Mm -hmm. Not a hundred percent sure here. Yeah, not yet. Thirteen. Can you tell us one of our names? You have to speak clearly for us to understand you. interesting thing in the attic yes we're coming up the stairs to break down the camera and stuff and we saw what looks like mud like, tracks yeah it looks like coming a... up the stairs now take a look at this let's see can you see it here if you there it looks like there's a footprint right there at the top of the stairs right yeah. Try. And then, you can see like the perfect lines the uh, lines in it and treads in it and then coming up the stairs what I stepped on that I didn't notice before, I stepped on a piece of mud down there, and that's what alerted me to it. If you look down at the stairs here, there's mud there, and then there's more mud here, and then there's like the broken part that I stepped on. When but I was the thing is, up. where did that come from? Yeah, because that definitely 
was not there when we came up earlier. And it couldn't have come from anywhere up here. It had to have come up here somewhere. Right. Because look, this is brick. And this is... Yeah. This, ew, no, that's... Mud I don't know walls. What that is. Kind of yeah, so there we go, the footstep at the top of the stair. And... Uh, that was definitely not there, I don't believe. No. The, it wasn't. The, we would have noticed. The two times that we all came up here because we would have absolutely noticed that. It's right in the, the way of where we're going and it kind of looks like a kaboot. Right. And I don't think I, anybody is wearing shoes that would make a print mm -hmm. similar to that. This this as well too because when we were over here sitting that's when I turned around and I noticed the two hearts. Mm -hmm. These are just stickers. I noticed them. They're but I here. have to say this is not really easy to come off. Right. And that you know, was. You have to pull it off. I don't believe I saw that earlier. I don't know if you guys did. I'm not 100% sure about that. Yeah, right. I'll have to look back in the yeah. video, but I definitely, you know, definitely don't see the footstep over here. No. So leaving the investigation on the way out of Lebanon, we see a beacon of light shining through the night, calling to us. The destination is on your right. Yes. <laughs> the GPS happens to know where we're going. So what VAPI outing would be complete without a paranormal pit stop at Sheets? Yes. So here we are, that beacon of light yep. in the night. Oh man, look at this. They got indoor seating. This is a nice area over here. Nice little restaurant. Come here and get some food. So here's something interesting that I haven't seen down our way yet. Grandma Hutt's hand-cooked barbecue flavored potato chips. I may have to give those a try. And up here they have Utz corn chips. I haven't seen those down our way either. So the nature of the investigation caused Megan to decide to get a hot dog. <laughs> Two hot dogs for $1.89. Can't Two beat that. Two for $1.89? That's a good price. Oh, I know. What um, did, what'd you get on it? Anything? I got onions, ketchup, and cheese. Well, it's cheese not really worth it because they just put cheese in there like that. Oh, so don't get the yeah, cheese. it's not much. Oh, no. no. I actually got the uh, the boneless bites. The oh. buffalo habanero sauce. I don't need anything that's going to go through me like that right now. <laughs> and that's our number right there. <laughs> right. They're calling it. Let's pop these things open smell and take a look inside. Now. Oh, Jeez. man, you can smell them through the box. Look at that. Covered in mm. sauce. And let's see how these compare to the sheets down Holy in crap. Here. Man, that smells good, doesn't it? Dude, it does. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Buffalo habanero. I'm going to go wash so my hands considering one. there was no soap mm. at that house. No soap. Oh, that's right. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so what's the verdict? These are good. Very good. How are your hot dogs down? I've had better. Well, as the sun comes up this Sunday morning, we are heading back down into Delaware where we're gonna sleep for a couple hours before traveling back to Virginia. And uh, I have to say, it's a, it's a nice morning. It's The sun's coming up, but it's really foggy. And uh, I guess this is an end to that long rain that we had over the past couple of days. Expanded from Virginia all the way up through Pennsylvania. And uh, we usually try to beat the sun back because it's easier to go to sleep when it's still dark out. But uh, unfortunately, with this case, and uh, stop at Sheets afterwards, we're unable to do that. Well, it's been four hours uh, since we went to sleep, and now here we are around 11.30ish in the morning and in Delaware and we're getting ready to get back on the road back to Virginia on the final leg of our journey, our round trip 
uh, to Lebanon. Yes. So. And thank goodness it's a nice day today. Finally, yes. this deluge of water and rain and nastiness that we've had for the past three or four days has lightened up a little bit. So at least our ride back will be kind of nice. Absolutely. More inducive to the video than right. the way up here, perhaps. Right. We'll see. So one last stop at Goose Creek here in Maryland before we cross over the line. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot different than the last time we were here when it was pouring rain right. on Friday night. But I got one of these, is it Johnsonville mm -hmm. Brats? Actually, Hillshire Farm, I think. Hillshire Farm. Yes. Some kind of sausage. Uh -huh. And I covered it with cheese. Yeah. And it's good. Mm-hmm. I have the cheddar worst, which actually has cheddar like down inside the sausage. Um, the only thing that was a little disappointing with the Goose Creek is that they give you chili and um, and if you can call it that chili, it's kind of a runny brown sauce. Like a chili sauce. Yeah. Right, right. And um, and cheese, but then they only give you like the little packets of the relish and ketchup and mustard. Like I wanted like diced onions and salsa and some of that stuff to be available to me for my hot dog or my sausage and they just didn't have it. So. Mm -hmm kind of lacking in that in that department but it's pretty good nonetheless it is good breakfast mm -hmm. <laughs> now another thing I have here that I found interesting is hers chocolate covered peanuts it's not a common thing to find by hers as we go into different stores down throughout Virginia we find hers potato chips not the plethora that we find up north but we find some nonetheless um, but I'm interested to try these chocolate covered peanuts. Something different from hers, not the potato chips that we're used to. Oh man. And I gotta say these are amazing. They're not, um, they're just like melt in your mouth chocolate. And the peanut, it's not like, sometimes you get stale peanuts and they're really hard and crunchy. These are not like that. I mean the, the peanuts are, almost melt in your mouth too it's hard to describe these are really good i would highly recommend her chocolate covered peanuts so what i have here is something new from uts they're called grilling classics uh series i guess or grilling classics line of potato chips this particular one is called sweet corn flavor. Ooh, I like some sweet corn. Yes, I like sweet corn too. Um, and if you can combine corn and a potato in some fashion, I'm there. That's that's me. So um, we're gonna try these out and see what they taste like. They're particularly yellow, if you notice that. Very yeah, yellow. Look at that. Mm, uh -huh. I see the seasoning on them. Looks like good stuff. Mmm. Do they taste like sweet oh, corn? Oh yeah. Mmm. Good stuff. Nuts are not usually one of my favorite types of potato chips. I do prefer hers, but these are pretty damn good. They look good. Yeah, a lot of flavor to them. A lot of flavor. Mm. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the Utz Grillin' Classics Sweet Corn Potato Chips. have it ladies and gentlemen a window into the life of a ghost hunter kind of behind the scenes the travels the trip to an investigation a little bit of video from the investigation mm -hmm. and here we are back here in Virginia right right not in the main part of Virginia mind you on the eastern shore which is kind of a forgotten part of Virginia but um, Virginia nonetheless yes absolutely and uh, we're on the final leg of our stretch uh, about another hour or two and we'll be back in the hometown yeah. and uh, we'll be looking forward to our next venture in a couple weeks we got three investigations in one weekend yes and we're hoping to put together another video yeah and we're hoping that you'll join us on our behind the scenes venture 
Until next time, I'm Jeff. I'm Linda. And thanks for watching.